Today, we're gonna to build a simple wall hung workbench out of fur two by fours. I'm slowly starting to make the expansion upstairs in the barn as an extension of the workshop, but I'm desperately in need of workspaces to store tools and to work off of. I have a bunch of 12 foot 2x4s from another project that were leftovers that I will use for this project. Some of these 2x4s might have some remnants of screws in them. So I made a thorough job of inspecting them before I do any cutting and planning for the work pieces. I plane these boards to clean up a little bit of the grime and the dirt that were on them. And you might think that this is unnecessary, but this workbench is something I'm going to work with for the next few years. So I'd like to have it as nice as I can make it with intolerance. I like to use these shop projects as an opportunity to really dial my productivity. Every one of these steps show up in most of the projects I do, so this is a great opportunity to try and figure out a way to do it more efficiently, less movements, and so forth. I believe that the more efficiently you can work, the more creative you're then allowed to be. That, that extra headspace that require you to think about the next steps or how to complete certain steps gives way for opportunities to see more creatively, see opportunities in the work that would then allow you to create something a little more special than what you had planned. And with that in mind, the point isn't to be perfect or that I am perfect, but rather than it is a continual pursuit to try and perfect this. I wanted to make sure that all of the diagonal braces were at the same angle. So I temporarily attached the center brace parallel to one of the side braces. That then allowed me to scribe the piece to fit with a block at the bottom and just using the structure on the top. And now to install the top. First thing I'll do is screw in the backboard to the structure and then clamp everything to that board. That allows me to have a rough idea of where everything's going to go so that I can decide where to cut the boards to length and also for the next step decide where I want the biscuits to align. I'm using these biscuits not for strength uh, but just for alignment in between the brackets. And with everything marked, I can then start cutting the biscuits. I have to keep in mind which side of the board I am aligning the biscuit joiner with. Uh, in this case, I'm using the underside of the board as it was temporarily laid. And so this is another example of something that this project gives me the opportunity to do that other projects can benefit from in the future. And that is with organization. Very important to mark every piece 
the front, the back, the left, the right. That way you can remain organized throughout the process and not get lost. If any of these biscuits were in the wrong place from one board to the next, say in the event of a glue up, I would be in a really tough spot. But with the practice I'm having now, I'm allowed to learn from mistakes or learn and how to improve the process, so forth. I can finish by evening out the top, putting the chamfer on, and then the bench is done. Thanks for watching. Now let's all get back to work.